Other aspects of the electric field can be demonstrated. I turn on the Van de Graaff generator and charge up the sphere, put a negative charge on it. We previously uh, were able to show that if we have a uh, negatively charged uh, object, such as this little ping pong ball, that uh, the electric field will be such as to uh, repel or push outward on this ping pong ball as the uh, field lines are directed toward that negative sphere. Negative charge is pushed in the direction opposite from the direction of the electric field. Uh, the drawing for this is up there with the uh, negatively charged object and we see the sphere through the medium of the field is repelling the little ping pong ball. Now if I had a positively charged object, which I'm going to assume uh, this little piece of fur is here, when uh, rubbed with, uh, when rubbed with uh, rubber. So I rub the fur with the rubber, uh, hoping that I'm not taking too much of this charge onto my hand. But uh, let's assume that there's a small amount of positive charge on this fur, and what would we expect to happen when we bring it over near the Van de Graaff generator? As we'd expect, it would be attracted. And we see, indeed, that it is. So the fur is attracted to the Van de Graaff generator because it has a positive charge and the Van de Graaff generator has a negative charge. Now, if I take a neutral object uh, like, that, uh, like that end of the string, for example, assuming that's uncharged, let's see what happens there. We know that an uncharged object can be attracted to a charged object by redistribution of the electrons on the uncharged object. And we see indeed that it is attracted uh, to a point until the electrons jump over onto the string and then it becomes negatively charged and it becomes very fickle. It's first attracted and then repelled as it becomes negatively charged. And then of course it's attracted over to my neutrally charged shirt here, so I'll try to keep that out of the way. Notice that the uh, part of it is still neutral, being attracted, while the other part has been charged up and is being repelled. You might also note that that uh, loop has been opened up as the various parts of the loop all have the same negative charge and repel uh, each other and uh, cause the loop to open up a little bit as well. Notice that little piece of string dangling there is pushed away. Uh, as it has the negative charge. And still uh, another aspect of uh, the electric charge is if I, put a, uh, if I put a pointed object on this Van de Graaff generator, and uh, I'm going to tape that on there so it doesn't vibrate off. There's a little point here, sharp point on the end of this rod. When I turn that on, we'll notice that uh, we can't build up nearly as much charge. Very little charge on there now compared to earlier. And the reason there is such little charge is because that point concentrates the charge and the electric field builds up to a stronger value near that point. That causes a discharge to take place and keeps the charge from building up to the value that it otherwise would. In other words, the electric field on a charged object is strongest near the sharp points where the radius of curvature is the smallest. I'll uh, take that off again and show what happens when we have a smooth surface. And we see that we can get oh, oh, <laughs> quite a bit more charge on it than when it has a uh, sharp uh, pointed part to it here, such as this rod with the point on the end of the rod. Now. Another thing we can do is put this little uh, spinner up on top of this, and this also has some sharp points on it. And we'll notice what happens now. Uh, when I uh, bring this up and put it on top of here, again, I don't have to worry about sparks flying too much because there's uh, much less charge than there was before because of the sharpness of that point right there. We put that on there and uh, watch what happens now and we see that spin around. As the electrons leave those sharp points, then that uh, drives that uh, spinner around, and we see it rotate, indicating that electrons are being driven off at the sharp ends 
of uh, those, uh, each of those four arms, indicating that uh, sharp objects will cause a stronger electric field with the same amount of charge, and therefore the electric field builds up to the point where the object cannot hold as much charge as it otherwise would, and uh, therefore uh, uh, will discharge at a, uh, a lower overall energy, and uh, that's the basis for lightning rods, etc.